Tonight, but let me uh, set this up. It was on uh, May 16th, I think it was a Friday, that I, was, I received a call from Superintendent Wes Harrison. Uh, he's a superintendent of Rock Hill Local School District up in Ironton, Ohio. And uh, through our conversation of why he was calling, uh, it basically boiled down to uh, did we have an employee by the name of Tammy Gerald in, in the district? And of course, we do. And uh, he began to share with me a story uh, that about her visit up to Ohio and uh, on that day she happened to come across uh, a, another bus driver in distress uh, and I'm going to read that narrative but just to sum up <coughs> Superintendent West Harrison's uh, discussion that day uh, he reiterated several times during our conversation she said or he said that person Tammy saved this man's life and so uh, I'd like to share with you, Danny, I know you won't mind reading your narrative here. Uh, I was traveling with my mom and grandmother to my aunt's wake in Logan, Ohio. We were on Route 93, about five or six miles out of Ironton, Ohio. I noticed a school bus parked by a bus garage with the hood up. Being a bus driver, I'm curious about different things or different types of buses and always pay attention to other buses. I always notice what kind they are, how old, what school district it's from. When I got closer to the bus, I saw a man lying on the ground on his back in front of the bus with blood all over his face. I noticed the car in front of me and the one behind me didn't stop to provide assistance. A voice in my head said I needed to go back and I asked my mom, did you see that guy laying on the ground? My mom replied, what man? I turned around in the first driveway I saw and went back to the bus garage. When I got there, I got out of the car and asked him if he was all right. He mumbled, yes. I helped him up and I asked him again, mister, are you okay? Did you bump your head or something? He said, no. I told him you have a lot of blood on your face. Are you sure you didn't hit your head or something? He was really confused and said no again. He started over to the side of the bus and rested against the tire. I followed him and I asked once more, are you sure you're going to be okay? Can I get someone for you? He said, no, I'll be all right. I said, well, if you think you're going to be okay, I'm going to go on. He assured me he would be all right, so I got back in my car to leave. As I was pulling out of the garage parking lot, Voice in my head said to me, don't leave so quick. I got back out, went over to where he was standing, and before I could say anything, he started passing out. I grabbed his arm and got him on the ground the best that I could. I'll never forget the look on his face. It was like the life was just leaving right out of him. His eyes were fixed on the sky. I ran into the bus garage yelling for someone to help me. A man came out from behind a truck and asked me what's wrong. I told him a worker had passed out beside the bus in the parking lot. He went back outside, and the man said, Rick, Rick, are you okay? I said, Mr., we better call 911. He told me there was a phone on his desk, so I went in the garage and found the phone. When I called 911, the operator asked me my location. I had no idea what the address was. I told her we needed an ambulance and gave the phone to the mechanic. He gave the information and then, uh, then called the school nurse. The nurse arrived before the ambulance to check on the injured worker. The nurse asked Rick, that's the injured worker, if he was having chest pains, and he replied yes. I got really nervous and started praying. The nurse had brought a defibrillator, uh, which scared me even worse. In a few minutes, the ambulance arrived, and they started working on him. I told the school nurses, it looks like you guys have got it from here, and I'm going to be on my way, and I left. I worried about the man the rest of the day uh, till the next morning when Nadine and I called uh, the Rock Hill School Board of Education. 
The superintendent asked to speak to me on the phone. It was real quiet for a few seconds. And he asked, Miss, are you the lady that stopped to help our mechanic yesterday? I said, yes. And he replied, do you know if you hadn't stopped, our mechanic would have died? I said, you mean he's still alive? And I started crying, praising the Lord. He said, yes, he had a massive heart attack during surgery in order to relieve the problem of several blockages they put in two stents. Superintendent told me, you must be Rick's guardian angel. If you had not stopped to provide assistance, we would, he would have died. I replied, God sent a bus driver up Route 93 on May 14th at 11, 12 a.m. because only a bus driver would have been paying attention to the buses in the bus lot and noticed an injured worker. But come on up here. District. Uh, we appreciate you so much. Man, I tell you, you certainly do bring value to the to Martin County education, and, and you represent our district very well. Uh, as I shared with you uh, the day that the superintendent called me, he was uh, pretty emphatic about uh, the message that he wanted to deliver not only to you and to me, but to this board and to this community down here, the, the caliber of people that we have on board down here. And I just can't thank you enough, and certainly no more than uh, what this man could thank you. He certainly wants to do that. But we want to just honor you this this week, or this month rather, uh, with the staff spotlight uh, awarded to Tammy Gerald for identifying the value of a Martin County education. And I'd like to also, and these are very unique, uh, these uh, certificates are, uh, but it's the College and Career Ready Challenge coin. Uh, it's a promise to the value of education that certifies the accompanying College and Career Ready Challenge coin, represents a promise to bring value to a Martin County education. The holder acknowledges the importance of education and promises to bring value to our community and to the Commonwealth of Kentucky. The recipient of this coin has shown faithfulness uh, to this promise. And the charges that are on this is that as students, they will come to school ready to learn, work hard, and graduate prepared for life. As parents, communicate the value of education and learning to our children. As educators, setting high expectations and help every child to develop a level of learning. And as a community, to support and advocate public education to improve student outcomes. And Tammy, I, I can't, I couldn't think of a better narrative to demonstrate and reflect just how much you brought uh, to the people of Martin County and the value that we have out here on education. But not only that, but the quality of people that we have in Martin County. So thank you very much. And here, I'd like to give you the coin and the certificate. We'll see Monday to that superintendent. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Bob. laughs> I think we'll see this because, you know, I'm going to get my rewards in heaven. Amen. The Lord talked to me that day, and he's the one that told me to stop, and he's the one that put me through there that day. And I don't, you know, I didn't want the reward or, or recognize, be recognized for this because he's going to recognize me. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, if you listen to God, things is going to be a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's got a purpose for each and every one of us. And we just need to listen to him every once in a while. A lot of us don't take time to listen to him. We need to do that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next item on the agenda is the uh, consent agenda. Discussion of possible action on May 12, 14, regular board minutes. May 22, 14, special board minutes. May 29, 14, special board minutes. <coughs> Discussion of possible action on treasurer orders in the amount of three hundred twelve thousand six seventy six eighty six and pay warrants in the amount of eight thirty four oh sixty nine eighty six. Discussion of possible action on professional conferences, vehicle requests, fundraisers, and use of district facilities. Is there any discussion on those items? I had a question. Martin County School District Finance Corporation. It was uh, it says redemption of tens of interest four thousand no four hundred and ninety three thousand. Seventy seven dollars. Which report is that? That's our home payment. That's Eric. One of our bond payments. 
at a school facility, Bond Lane. Yeah, it's a school facility. It's Martin County District Finance Corporation, which the board is the corporation that sells the bonds. I just wanted to know, what is it? It's your bond payment. Mm-hmm. For a specific school you came here? I believe that one is for even only Next year in 2015, this time next year will be 512,717. <coughs> That's our bond. That's a debt service. It's a debt service. Actually, it totals up to 501,000. That's correct. <coughs> and then on page uh, 14, mm -hmm. I wasn't for sure about what the, this employee does, but $1,255 travel out of district. Um, <coughs> um, that person is employed through the SIG grant, the school improvement grant from the educational recovery team. He's one of the three that's in the district to travel, and he is reimbursed by contract. He uh, the, and the other two uh, educational recovery leaders or team members be reimbursed for their travel. And that comes out of the school improvement grant for the PLA school, for the high school, yes. Further discussion on those items? I have any motion to approve? I have a motion. I have a motion and a second. I'll take it. Motion and a second. All in favor, keep saying aye. Uh, for aye. Any opposed? Next item is discussion and possible action on superintendent matters. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A couple of uh, items on the superintendent matters, as was discussed by email today, and I think uh, over the weekend, uh, the salary schedules were not attached uh, to, uh, or should not have been, even to the superintendent matters. But what we want to do, Mr. Chairman, is pull out uh, the extra service, sal uh, extra service and salary schedules, and that will be under new business tonight. That will be under the athletic and administrative stipend schedule along with the certified and uh, classified schedule. So that's not going to be part of the superintendent matters. The superintendent matters is an approval. It, it's or not approval, rather. It is a reporting mechanism to the board. So there should never be any item on the superintendent matters for uh, approval, final action and approval. So it's a reporting mechanism. Uh, I will draw your attention to the superintendent matters that you have in front of you. Uh, we wanted to make sure uh, the retirements of the certified were listed on there. I think we listed them three times. Uh, Gene Copley and Beverly Cassidy were the two retiring uh, teachers. Uh, the recension of non-renewals, as we, uh, I would like the board to go ahead and ratify that, and that will be through the uh, superintendent matters. Sophia Bevins and Jessica Dye uh, are two teachers that we are rescinding uh, for Inez Elementary School. Uh, Eden uh, is will receive another additional teacher for for their allocations. And all three of these are fund two. They're not general fund, they're fund twos. That will come out of either Title I or Title II. And as we continue to move forward and the population, student populations, uh, typically it's in the kindergarten arena, uh, but as they fluctuate between now and the beginning of the school, we hope to have those uh, supported <coughs> long before that, but we'll continue this process until that time. Uh, we also want to uh, reduce uh, the teacher-student ratio, and not just the maximum of the student-teacher allocations that the board has awarded. So through between now and the beginning of the school, we'll also be addressing uh, classroom reduction sizes for our teacher and student ratio. And we're making a lot of progress at that too, by the way, especially leveraging our fund twos. The uh, resignations, of course, you'll see the high school principal and uh, Miss G. I'll try to pronounce her last name. Gies and Donna. Gies and Donna. There you go. You can learn what she said. Uh, that was uh, one of our, uh, our Teach for America teachers, and they are just phenomenal. And by the way, board, we've got another. Uh, outstanding group, at least of what I've heard, all indications are another sterling group of TFA uh, teacher candidates. Again, the retirees on the bottom there. And the next page shows you the resignations, uh, the retirees classified, the transfers, and um, also for certified and classified. 
Hodges had a question. Have you ever moved up here yet? Or about what? Moved up here again. I do live here. Most you got your home and everything up here? I'm sorry. So you don't have to travel back to Bath County? Yeah, I do. I, I travel back to Bath County probably at least on the weekend or something. So I guess we're buying that gas. No, ma'am. Well, I hope not. Well, I, I heard I, different. I just wondered. Okay, the <laughs> the reduction notifications that were part of superintendent matters are a reporting mechanism. They're not approval. Those letters have gone out, and it's a reporting to the board. Who the, I'm required to report to the board those actions that were taken by the notifications. And I'm not going to ask the board to vote no on that because. But it's it's. I know, Mr. Miles, we didn't ask you to do that. But number one, we didn't ask you to do that. Number two, if we put our yes on that, then. We're approving those letters, and we're approving the, and those letters, and we're approving it saying that there could be a possible reduction in the future. And I, I'm asking the board to vote no on that. I'd say no. Well, are we are we doing that? We'll watch our attorney. <laughs> I reported the board the reduction letters that I sent out on the school. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you don't have to vote on it or not. It's just a report that you made, right? I don't know right, it's just a report. Right? What kind of reduction letters? They were notifications that you may, your salary may be reduced from the school year 2013-14. It may be reduced from the 14 and 15. Okay, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I have a question. I have... Are they reducing the substitute teacher pay? I'm getting rid of some of Well, I can't answer that, but the board can. Okay, board, are they reducing the substitute teacher pay? I have not read my If they say yes to this, they might be. Pardon? Well, I don't understand if they, they say yes to that. Let me, for the board's information, I will respond to that again. Yeah. Is that this is, I'm required to report the letters that I have sent. It doesn't mean that the reductions have been made, it's just these are the letters that have gone. But, uh, right, and that's why your district was financially bankrupt. Uh, but I, I think, think we need to know. Reduce, yours has to be reduced to you. That's how it should be, well, honestly. Let me, let me say this again. I have board, I have not recommended that anybody reduce. My question is, is this a blanket that, say, if you pass this, Saying that any reductions can be made. This has, ma'am, this has nothing to do with reductions. It's not an action item. It's a possible reduction. No, it is not. Okay. It is. That's not. I misunderstood. Then I'm sorry. That. That's what I'm trying to clarify. This okay. Board. Those are the letters he gave out. Okay. Of which. Those are the letters that he gave out. I, I don't. I, and they I'm, need to be the, the the reduction letters that everyone had to sign. That's what that is, and he's got it under superintendent matters. And we're going to vote on superintendent matters. I'd say no. It's, and if it doesn't need to I'm be sorry. voted on, so it the, needs to be pulled from superintendent matters. The board is, is the one that is receiving the report whether you got it or not. If there's no... Oh, you don't have to... They don't have to vote on it. I'm just saying that. Somebody retired, somebody <laughs> resigned, somebody was hired, somebody was well, disciplined. Well, then I want that it's mentioned that it doesn't require a vote. I want, I want that, I want that <clears throat> mentioned finally that this is not a vote on... Uh, However, you would like it's your meeting. I'm just making the recommendations just to superintendent matters. Well, if we don't have to vote on it, we can just move on. You're not going to state that it doesn't need a vote for the superintendent matters? That's right. Superintendent no, matters usually don't need a vote. No. Y'all always want to vote. It's already rigged, Don Eddie. You might have done Don Eddie's question in that. that. No we always vote on it. There's no action to be taken. No when action. it's already set up, they do what they we, want we to do. We and always vote on superintendent matters, Mr. Mayor. It's always a yes or no. I have no idea why. We can vote on something. Well, well, then, then, then why is that happening? They don't want to say. They don't want to do what they want to do anyway. It's a click thing. Well, no, superintendent matters, I mean, I've noticed. I've noticed that all they are are yes just no announcements vote. of certain things, but and they really no don't vote. require no vote. But there's yes and no vote, Mr. Smith. Um, if, if He's going back to the board. Yeah, recall, the board of, if, you know if, how if we is. can keep this uh, on track, if the board may recall, we did separate these. Remember when we separated these? It used to be part of what had to be voted on. And well, the reason that we brought that forward. That's why we ain't got all the time. You just tell me if you go back in the minutes, there's not a yes and no vote. There is, because it was all... It was all together. It shouldn't have been together because there was action items that the board was voting on, like 
uh, the warrants, like uh, the treasurer's <coughs> orders. Even since things. you said where I didn't think there's any of them in that box. Well, there, we can vote on it. I mean, okay, it can vote. Well, so. would you please accept that out? That would, just to satisfy me? Well, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. We're superintending the matters without the letter notices. Although the letter notices are in there. I am required by law to report to this board these notices. Now, whether the board wants to approve them, if there's going to be a reduction, who told you there's going to be a reduction? We ain't never figured that out yet. Well, this board figures that out. This board has the authority to do I don't even get to have You have that board wrapped around your finger. I don't even get half the email. I don't know what's going on. I know. And they ain't gonna let you know because it's already rigged. Okay. Is that right, Coach? Let's move on to the next side. Yeah, let's go on. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious about that. Yeah, they're gonna do what they want to do because he's already got it all. Okay. Okay. Discussion of possible action on district audit services. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We've uh, we received three bids. As you can see in front of you, the audit bids that were received. My recommendation is to uh, have them all for them. However, I am not opposed to accepting. Uh, you can see that our current uh, auditor, uh, you will notice very noticeably that it is, or their uh, fee drops significantly. The board may want to take that into account, but I still uh, believe and recommend that we should go with another auditor wow. to ensure. Wow. To wow. ensure uh, there's fidelity to the process. We've had this auditor for 20 years. I'm not saying anything that they've done wrong, anything that they've done right. It's nothing against them at all, other than we had the same auditor for 20 years. Well, you got somebody in mind? Uh, just the bids We're giving out reduction letters, but we can uh, pay another audit. Well, <laughs> that, that, that's, our audit. It don't make sense. He was doing fine, Mr. Meadows. I've never heard But we, if we thought uh, we had an we usually take the lowest. Well, that's, low. that's correct. Yeah, he, but it was. I just, just keeping. Thank you. Uh, it, it was eighteen thousand, and before that it was twenty, and he did drop it down, and we appreciate that. So uh, that's for more consideration. So, is there any discussion or motion on? Uh, is there anything he did wrong? The auditor that he did. Did he do something wrong, Donald? <laughs> to get rid of it. We we just. But we'll go ahead and just accept the low, you know, the lowest bid. That's that's well, that. the motion that we keep the lowest bid. Okay. Thank you. I'll second. Second. Motion second. On favor, can you say aye? Aye. 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 No, I need not the board. Next item. Is discussion and possible action on transfer of capital outlay to general fund in the amount of one fifty three nine seventy five to thirteen fourteen hundred. I need to get this board education thing. I make a motion. Please. Have a motion. You second. Motion <coughs> second. On favor. Keep saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carried. Oh, we didn't even talk about it. What, what's going on? What is it, Don? I don't know. It goes so fast. I don't know. I don't we know. I'm about ready to leave. We discussed that last at the last meeting. Yeah. That's where operating. Well, we've done okay. that. Right, Tammy, we've done that before. Yes. We have to have it. Yes. And we may only have another year or two that the state will allow us to use. Allow us to do that, and then once we get into that, we've got to wean ourselves from that. Yes. Yeah, that was something we did last meeting. So that will be close to 200000 in a couple of years that we'll have, we'll have to do without. Yeah. Yes. And I know the next thing is the construction thing. Yeah, we have to do that. We can't put the roof on so go ahead, Craig. <coughs> Next item on the agenda is discussion of possible action on transferring from building fund escrow the amount two hundred seven eight forty four transfer to construction fund from Martin County Middle School roofing project. I make a move on it. We have. No. We need to go back to nine. Uh, oh, discussion of possible action on the transfer of capital outlay. We have a motion and second on favor of saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Now, discussion of possible action on transferring from building fund as pro from 2078. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a discussion that we've held with the our uh, levy uh, that was supported by the board in the community and comes from our bonding that we won't sell bonds until January, at the earliest January 2015. So, uh, the revenue that is gained from that 
uh, is going to help us offset the cost for the roof. And thankfully, we have that on there of the roof line because, it, as we will talk about in just a moment, it's uh, approaching around $280,000 for a new roof. And there's just no way we could have been able to do that without the capital outlay up there. And that's why we need to wean ourselves. That capital outlay is for facility maintenance. And uh, now it's, it's being used over the past few years, not just by this district, by all districts that are using that. And we need to wean ourselves off of it. So uh, that's what number 10 is talking about. Make a motion to approve the transferring those funds to 7844. I'll make a motion. Make a motion in a second. Motion in a second. I'm voting. Okay, saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is discussion of possible action on the depository bond and treasurer's bond. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is an annual requirement, Ms. Sloan. Yeah. You have these in your packets. The depository bond is simply where uh, our bank holds investment pledges to secure our deposits, and then we can place a form and just file it with the state. It's just routine every year. And our treasurer's bonds are just simply because Mr. Meadows and I sign the checks or our name is on on the uh, district's finances. Is this a renewal? Mine is a continual and his is the application. Uh, further discussion on that item? No, I need a motion to approve. Come back to motion to approve. I have a motion, need a second. I'll second. Motion second, on favor 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 saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Next item is to set for discussion and possible action on ACA measurement period from October 3rd, 13 to 14. Administrative period from October 2nd, 14 to <coughs> 14. And stability period from January 1, 15 to December 31, 15. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is, uh, of course, a requirement under the uh, Affordable Care Act, and those three periods just need to be set for us. If you have questions, those. Any discussion on that item? Does that mean cost with any additional money? Shouldn't, right? No. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion, need a second. I'll second. Motion, need a second. All in favor, any favor, saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is discussion of possible action on insurance bid. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we were, well, I'll turn it over to Lisa Sloan. Uh, we received a attachment as well. But this was we had two proposals. And we'll just break down and I highlight the difference. And our workers' comp doesn't change keys, doesn't so change whichever insurance company we go with. So that's the same. Mr. James, my ask was in Liberty Mutual the company that canceled us last year? Yes, they did. They rescinded it. They did. <laughs> they bid again, right? Yeah. Okay, I notice it's the general liability company. It's higher than the Which is a good thing. The general liability, commercial liability. Same agent? Uh, no, two different agents. Does this seem to be on the screen? Sure, question about the workers' compensation. Um, the original numbers I gave you. It's from was from Kimi is like 166, but it should go down next year once those numbers come in because our, our payrolls will be less. Mm -hmm. So that's why the difference went from 166 to about 140, almost 140. I think our claim.
Yes. And we've got some, uh, when we have some risk management training in, and as we move forward, we continue to provide the training to our folks. Oh, okay. as well. Why do we need assistance? Does the board have any discussion or preference on training too? So what, what do you think, Mr. Smith? I don't know anything. The other company's lower, and they didn't cancel it. So have they ever paid the claim? Or they have not paid it. <clears throat> I'll go with the lower company. Yes. Who has it? You mean, I don't have to do any worse. That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah, that's all I'm saying. What if they canceled your last year? Well, that's what I'm saying. 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 Okay. WRM Insurance uh, Policy Club. And also, I guess, Kimi's Workers' Trump Club 148737. I have a motion. <coughs> you a motion. I have a motion. Need a second. I'll second. Motion to second. On the second, they say no. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is discussion of possible action in hiring an architect for rebooting the project at Martin County High School. I think Mr. Chairman would recommend that we uh, hire and enlist the services of uh, Mike Sparkman, all 32, uh, as the architect for the middle school roof. Okay. Any discussion on that item? No, I need a motion to approve. I'll make that motion. I have a motion and a second. I'll second. Mm -hmm. Motion second. I'm second. Thank you saying hi. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Next item discussion of possible action on the revised BG1 for Martin County Brewery Project BG number 14 214. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, if you go down to through 18, uh, actually, those are the BG uh, numbers for the replacement of the roof. <laughs> we had that packet that was sent to you, I hope uh, each one were able to open that. But if you look at the BG1, you're, we're looking at $283,000, uh, actually $283,932 for the roof replacement. Now, the one big thing that I want to share with the board is that although we have moved on this as fast as we can, certainly the, what held us up was the availability of funds. And after talking with uh, Bob Tarvin and Joe Nance, our bonding agents, that we were able to get into the escrow, which you've already approved, or that we could do. I'm not saying you approve the roof, but we've approved that we can use that revenue to replace the roof, and that's what we have to have. We just did not have the funds to do it because we've been using capital outlay for operating expenses in the past few years. So what I'm recommending now, we've uh, identified Mr. Mike Sparkman. Uh, the, if you'll look at the timeline, this is what concerns me, but we are where we are. Uh, the request are, is being uh, submitted tonight for your approval. And then uh, it shows a timeline down through advertising for bids, approval for bids, uh, the pre-bid meeting, bid opening. Uh, then the board would come back July 22nd for to approve the bids. And these are on timelines, you know, that two-week notice, 30-day 30, 30 notice, etc. Beginning uh, construction August 11th. That's five days after our school starts. Mm. Uh, then substantial completion, or most of the completion is going to be done by uh, uh, September. <coughs> and then final completion, uh, the latter part of September. What are you reading from? The, the what did you get that? Do we have one? I was under the impression that they were going to try to get it done by the summer, get your but they email? can't. I do not have an attachment, guys. I figured that, and I didn't get an email either. No, it's on the 
Yeah, but she should get hers too. Guys, come on. Come on. Come on. What they just said. Who's supposed to send all this out? For the audience on the first part, for the audience's uh, benefit, the attachments are posted online in the same source folder that all board members go to. No board member gets an individual attachment. They're posted online to KSP, and then each board member goes to the site. We uh, consolidate BG1, 2, and 3. No, uh, we can consolidate those, yes. And the item in BG number 14-214, is that a part of that project? Yes, sir. 15 through 18. Yes, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Is there any further discussion on the BG1, 2, or 3? I need a motion to approve. It would be item 15 through 18. We'll make that motion because we really need that roof. Yeah, we've got to have that roof done now. Yeah. I have a motion and a second. I'll second. Motion and a second. I'm craving the same item. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I'll also share with the board that uh, we're trying to fix the shingled leaks. We're just not letting it leak on the top of it. Next item on the agenda is discussion of possible action on maintenance supplies and diesel fuel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We received those bids, Mr. James. Um, I think a list of the low bids on transportation. These are all transportation related uh, fuel, <coughs> tires. I think the list you have are the ones that end up being the lowest ones. I heard we've had to add additives because fuel is very good. And our business hasn't, hasn't been running as well on this fuel as it was with the other. That's the first I've heard of it. So we don't buy additives for the gasoline or the diesel? Not that I'm aware of. I'm not. Somebody in this crowd is calling you a liar. What is it, you? Nope. Okay. I don't mean, know. I'd say me, but go ahead. I'll take the last amount, and I doubt very seriously. We do buy additives from the fuel. Oh, no, I'm not a bus driver. She's a bus driver. I work in the office. I do order. We do buy additive for our fuel, Mr. Meadows. Okay, but what's the point here? What are we getting at? Well, how much are we spending on additives? And our buses aren't running very well on the fuel. My attitude so, would be like for winter time and stuff like that. Keep for, should be done. We had the fuel tested and uh, they said we needed this additive to take care of the, um, what did they call it? Um, something that was in the fuel. It's supposed to keep it from freezing up and jail. Keep it from freezing up, yeah. And yeah, but you got that with any. Stuff that's, uh, yeah, you've got that in any, yeah, yeah in any kind of thing. Most well, the bus is around anyway. The diesel now has it already added. Yeah, but you're still going to have to put, yeah, but you still got to put, like, you know, anti. In the wintertime, you need that added. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't see anything wrong with doing that. They're doing it every time they fill up. So how much are those additives that they're doing every time they fill up? Well, that's probably the very, very Pretty good lot of money. Well, I'd say it's a good practice about every time you fill up. But there's a lot of people that do that. put towards something else. Probably on the end of so they only need it in the wintertime, is it just in case no, no, no. it's freezing? Let's ask Mr. Gerald. Okay, ask Mr. Gerald. He's a mechanic, right? We don't think it needs to buy the things visually. Okay. But I add a gallon to the big tank and a half a gallon to the two small tanks whenever the tanks are filled. Okay. And uh, that's the, like an antifreeze or no, well, an antifreeze no, type no, thing? No, this is a. I don't remember what was in the fuel that they suggested to have to go in it. That, this was done like three years ago. Uh, I can't remember what it was that was wrong with it. 
but I do remember part of it was a moisture concentration off the tank. Yeah, you get that in any case. Yeah, that was part of the reason for that. That runs about 2300 a year. <coughs> That's answering your question. That's a lot. Well, yeah, you have to buy a lot of gas. Any further discussion on maintenance, supplies, and diesel? I'll tell you, go ahead and get it. Any motion to approve? I'll make that motion. And a motion, have a second. I think you have two motions. Gary and Roger both motion. I'll second. Yeah, Roger seconded it. No fault. Motion and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Opposed. Motion carries 4 1. Next item on the agenda is discussion of possible action on bus lease rent. I think, Mr. Chairman, I think that we are getting close to being able to use the, uh, the, the bus that's parked out in front of the or call your center, and I've sent a contract to uh, Mr. Schmidt and Mr. Shaw for legal consultation, and we've got a contract hammered out. And what I'm asking tonight uh, for the board is to approve uh, the lease uh, if it is within the, uh, they're asking for $535 for uh, their portion of the insurance. So we're going to be leasing the bus from RAMP. Group that's out of Pennsylvania, I believe, uh, yeah, to yeah. to use the bus. <coughs> we'll provide the driver, and we'll be going along with our summer feeding program. We have uh, Kindles and uh, also our iPads that'll be available for students and books, and it'll tag along with the summer feeding program as an enrichment service to our district. But uh, let me scratch that. It's five hundred and fifty dollars for the insurance that will cover the dates uh, between. Uh, June 15th and July 18th. <coughs> so I'm asking the board to approve that pending uh, the approval, final approval of our uh, legal <coughs> advice, our board attorney, to ensure that we're covered on our uh, liabilities. So, uh, one of the bus drivers that you have right now for the school bus is the driving it? I'm sorry? Well, one of the bus drivers that you already have in the Yes, I believe so. Can you all have well, not a police, oh yes. One of our bus drivers will be driving by. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Good to do it. I'm excited about it. Yes. yes. I'm going to say it happen. I'll second it. I'll second it. The motion is second. It's going to be kicking service on that from this bus. Aye. We are. Next item is discussion and possible action on the MOA for attending on the Department of Education. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a memorandum of agreement with KDC. He is with the cooperative uh, out of Iceland. Uh, they pay his uh, salary. Actually, we get kind of a small stipend uh, for loaning him to them. So I'd ask the board to, to approve. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make a motion for you. Yeah, I'll second. I'll second. I'll favor. Thank you for saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is discussion and possible action on MOA between Martin County Board of Education and math teacher at Martin County Imperial Technical. Technology Center, Martin County's cost is 10000 Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a continuation of the teacher that is shared collaboration between the Area Technical Center and the high school. We pay a portion of the math teacher who actually resides at the high school. Is that correct, uh, Ms. Williams? Could you tell us any more about that? Yeah, we've had, we've had this contract for about five years, and we actually are only two ATCs in the state, as in Floyd County, that uh, has participated in this project. And it is to help our technical students and our technical instructors to integrate um, their content math into their curriculum and to help our math scores. And uh, she not only teaches, you know, we ask that our students have first priority in scheduling, but she also teaches students that do not come to the ACC. Any further discussion? Can I make a motion to approve them? Motion. Motion and second. On the page, second. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is discussion of possible action on the Martin County School District participating in the community eligibility provision lunch program. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a food service program, and uh, Morris is here to 
speak to that. This is a continuation of the community, this EP, which is community eligible provision for uh, the free lunch for all of our students. Marcy, that's, that's just a continuation of the current program that we're under. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a motion to approve it. I hate to Motion second. I'm second. I'm second. I'm second. I'm Next item. Discussion of possible action on KSBA board policy annual updates. Uh, this will be the first read. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Carol, when did you send that out? Uh, for, for for the annual updates for KSBA? Uh, you should have received those. Uh, those are updates to our policies and procedures those, that are online as a service for KSBA. I think the updates are the retention and promotion that you talked about earlier. No, it's the annual. Well, you might you have a hard copy as well. It's the annual update. Uh, the discussion of possible action is on 24. Discussion of possible action on KSBA board policy annual updates. Does the board have an opportunity to look over those? This would be the first reading uh, that would come back up on uh, in the July for a second reading. So KSBA is going to update those, right? Yes, ma'am. Is there any discussion on those annual updates? Does anybody know what change? Let me hold on just a moment because I think they might have to discuss. The annual updates. This is what we update. I realize that that's all the policies. What I'm saying, did you, did you send these out to the board members? Not all these. No. Okay, if you want me to table that, go ahead and table it out, Mr. Chairman. Okay. We'll take that out and bring it circulate back around for this when we've had more time to review it. Next item is uh, new business. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, there are a couple of items that we need to add from the food service. One is the indirect cost. Uh, and I believe that was in your attachments. Is that right, Carolyn? It just wasn't listed on the, uh, okay, it was not listed on uh, the agenda. It was going to be under the CEP, but there is an indirect cost that we do not uh, charge food service and indirect cost. It is... Um, Certainly the prerogative of the board, discretion of the board to do that and how much, but uh, I think that the collaboration that we have with food services worked very well. Uh, we okay, do we've that. never done that in the past. I know it's always been brought up and we never do that. Okay. I do not recommend yeah. it. We do yeah, that. we don't do that. Okay. Yes, sir. I need a motion to approve it. That we will not charge indirect, indirect cost to food service. Uh, okay, I make a motion that we do not charge indirect cost to food service. Motion is second. I'll second. Motion is second. All in favor, thank you for saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The second one is also food service. It's a statement of authority. Marcy, does you want to explain that one? That is just a form that needs to it's a continuation. be signed. Yes, a continuation. I make a motion to approve the statement of authority for food services. Oh my goodness. I have a motion to second. I'll second. Motion to second. All in favor and fix saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The next new business is that uh, Warfield Elementary. Uh, Mr. Quillen has uh, requested uh, to hire or bring back recall teacher using his uh, Title I funds. Discussion on that item? Not any motion to approve. I make that motion. I have a motion. Need a second. I'll second. Motion second. I'm taking the paper saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The next item of new business is a local agreement, and I get these things late in the day, so that's why we need to get them uh, signed off. But there's no hurry in it if you want to dig deeper into it, but it's the continuation of being a delegate for the Head Start program here in the, in the county. And I would recommend to the board that we continue that relationship with Head Start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any discussion on that item? Not on any motion to approve. I have a motion and a second. I'll motion second. I'm clear. I'm saying aye. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The next items are the salary schedules. If we could start with the certified schedule. Certified salary schedule proposed for the 2014-15 school year, which includes the state-mandated state 1% increase and the step increases as well. Yeah, okay, that's what I was going to ask you. If, if it's included in the 1%. Yes, sir. That's across the board. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I will also say with this schedule or any other schedule, we'll, uh, you know, if there are typographical errors, uh, I'm not planning to see you, I'm just saying if there's a typographical error somewhere, this seller schedule is based on previous year, and now it includes a 1% increase across the board, which is state mandated, and it also includes a step increase. But we continue to go back to these, and no one knows it better than the employee. But yeah. we certainly continue to look at these and make sure that they are valid. Yeah, yeah if they don't get the raise, we're going to let you know that. Yes, they will. Okay. This is the tenant. Okay. No, ma'am. This okay. is the salary schedule, but by June 15th, or 45 days prior to the first day of student attendance, we must notify our teachers of their salary schedule, single salary schedule. This is already included in the budget, and you approve the budget, so therefore we can now submit a salary schedule. That's it. Okay, I'll make a motion to submit for this certified salary schedule. For certified? Yes. Yeah. I have a motion. Give me a second. I'll say. Motion and second. I'm favoring the same saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the next salary schedule is a classified salary schedule. Again, this includes the 1% state mandated increase and also any applicable or appropriate step increase based on the years of service we receive. Mr. Meadows, I thought I was down here today. I went back home and you said that the two positions on here that are new was voted on on October the 8th. Gave me a copy of it. It's not on pay SBA. The attachment does not exist. So therefore, we did not vote the two positions. Oh, so what position is that? Bookkeeper. Huh? Bookkeeper and instructional instructional monitor. You can go back right now on KSBA. Go back to October the 8th of, um, what was it? Mm -hmm. Instructional okay, monitor, is isn't that just an age? Okay, it's an aid. But what I'm saying, Gary, it was a position that didn't exist before. So how did it get on there? Okay, but do we have a, I mean, is it is it an aid position? Okay, go ahead. Yes. When I came here, and as I was looking at the salary schedules and the finances, one of the areas that we needed to look at, and as the board would agree and, and desire, is to ensure that all of the employees in the district were you know, reflected upon a salary schedule. And that, that wasn't the case. Uh, and I think that was you know, something the board knew, and not that it was intentional, but over a period of time, if the salary schedules are not looked at closely and scrutinized, then that's what happens in districts. So we did make the adjustments. Uh, every person that's in the district, our desire, my intent, uh, is to show the board whoever's hired in the district, what they get paid, where they get paid, what funding source, whether it's general fund or fund one, or fund two source, uh, so or food service for that matter. But um, so in September, there were employees, and, and when I got here and took the reins in July 1, I'm just saying that we had employees in the district that were not reflected upon the salary schedule. Now, there was one remedy to that. At that point is to add them to demonstrate to the board and public uh, the salaries that are um, assigned to district personnel. Um, one of theirs, for example, were the Family Resource Youth Service Center directors. 
they were not on the single salary schedule for the classified. So what we did, we created, because they were all different, uh, we created, the, I believe, five columns for the five directors mm -hmm. that reflected what each director, uh, what their salary was, what their compensation was. So we added those, in, is that September? I believe it was in the September uh, board meeting that those were reflected. It was at the same time as when we uh, went back to the uh, step increases uh, for October. Our folks. October then. It was September, October time period. Now, if they are not on the KSBA, Carolyn, you searched that today? And uh, they're in the minutes, but what happened is Tammy and you gave them out that night. They have them, they had hard copies of them. I didn't receive a copy. You all didn't send me a copy, so they didn't go in as attachment, but you all received one here that night. And that happened, it happens a lot. Down, you know, we hand you things. But. Well, how did you decide it was a book paper? Or how did you decide? I had no final one. How, 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 did you, how did you find that position I did in not, something that's just numbers? I did not add a bookkeeper. Tammy, did you add a bookkeeper? You said you found that. Well, if the employee was here, uh, for instance, okay, I'm sorry, a little bit more specifically. This Was that the high school? Yes. Okay, we wow. had a high school bookkeeper that was getting paid that was not on the salary schedule anywhere. That was her title. That was her only title. Or when, his or we don't her. create titles. Titles are taken from... Kentucky Department of Education. They have a classification code and they get a title. You just can't make a title. I understand that. How do we know that that person doesn't hold another position? That is their and position. I mean, that's that's what we identified out of the 400 some odd employees that we called through. That was that was one of the employees that was not reflected on the salary schedule. So this board or the public that is required by law didn't know this person was getting paid. They've been on the books however long that you've had in high school. Uh, bookkeeper clerk. Uh, What's an instruction? Uh, an instruction monitor. I don't. Well, they exist, though. Well, a lot of them existed. We we went through a tremendous amount. Of, and even because it's on the somebody's getting the money. <laughs> well, the person. I can provide Mr. Meadows with the name. Could I send to the county? Well, I'll take that job. Convey that to you. And what's important here is that no, we didn't create. I didn't create any positions. Uh, these were positions that are in the district already that were not revealed. I've never seen this before. Now I've never seen this before. That were not identified. They were not on the. I think I know who this person here you're talking about is. I think she does my. But now the board knows at the high school. I'm not going to say, but I, I yeah, she would be the looking. No, she's attendance clerk. Yeah, I think that one switched. They switched. They call me Kind County. Because they get that money. Somebody gets that money. Somebody gets that money. Because there was no proof that this existed. And it's not on KSBA. Uh, they in the That's position. Right. And then nobody knows what an instruction, instructional monitor is. But it's on here. Well, it doesn't mean that there's somebody in the dis in, in the position. Uh -huh. Well, you can have a blood paper. Why can't okay, you find that? Listen up. Tammy <laughs> said she'll go back and find that person. And I'll report back to the board who that person is in that position. But... The reason why that was those were different because this board desired, even in the interview process, is that we have an issue on transparency of employees in this district, and we're paying people. We don't know where it's coming from. The board needs to be informed. So what I've done is revealed to this board and to this community by law, every person that gets a dime from this board and from the taxpayers of this community or from the state or the feds, that it's reflected on the salary schedule that we're required to do. That was my job, and that's what I've done. Now, it's reflected on there. Whether the board wants to keep those and continuing, that's up to the board. But at this point, they're on there. Well, somebody has to be paid. I mean, well, the person is there. Yeah, you have the person there. It's up to you guys to find out who it is. No. Or up to the board of no, education. That's not so. We'll so never find out who it is. If they don't know who it is now, we don't want to find out. But, I will report to the board. Miss Sloan. I'm just so tired of this, and nobody here cares. Nobody here cares. They don't. They don't go. I've spent all weekend going through this. I have sacrificed my weekend with my family. Well, it has to go someplace. It's got to go. Did someplace. you even look at it, Gary? Have you even looked at this? They don't care. I mean, it's got to go somewhere. They really don't care. 
Oh, it's going somewhere. I, all right. No, I, yeah, I you're can't You're exactly hear it. right. It's going somebody. Somebody's getting it. I can. I can. And then say you got the bus drivers yeah. here. That uh, and I was on the board yeah. at the time. That after two was it 2011. Somebody took it upon themselves to reduce the bus drivers' pay. Okay. That has mm -hmm. that has yet to be brought to me where we voted on that. We didn't vote on that. We. I, I think I even spoke to you about this back when you first came mm -hmm. here. And you told me you would look into. I did, and there's no evidence in the minutes anywhere that that was done. So I have but no, yet the pays are different. That's I, the evidence. I, I don't know that. I mean, if the board wants to go back and look at these and, and change them, it sounds like you have two salary schedules for buses, uh, bus drivers. If there the are. Board, there are. I've already seen them with on, bus drivers. They know. That needs to be changed. And look that. If, you, if you've got this here, the money's gone out for it, then you know the position. Mm -hmm. You know it has to be fixed. There's nobody going to get it. Uh, writing a check out for it. Well, you don't know that, pocket. Gary. Huh? You don't you know, know that. that. Oh, well, I could say uh, I've given the if paper. Steal money, you're not going to steal it that way. It's required by law that every school district, public school district, uh, and trust me, I know how it works. Well, I'm telling you how I work, and that is by well, we law. We don't know you that good either. Well, I'm, if you could go to the paper, because I sent it to the paper last week, the, the Mountain Citizen. I don't trust it's the papers okay. anymore. But bear with me here. It is required by law that school districts and municipalities reveal. You, you don't have to hold on a second. Let me no. let me answer this question. Get back here. where you come from. Huh? I don't even know why they even brought you here. Let him explain it. I think I've been disrespected forever. Even you've been on and not sending me emails. How do you explain that? Yeah. It's required by law that I Let's send talk about disrespect. That I send <laughs> a salary schedule of every right. person in the district that has received a dime. Whether the paper prints it, the paper of record, by the way, not just because it's Mount Citizen or Wolf or whatever, the paper of record receives that. Also, we can send a copy to the library, is also encouraged as well. But anyone can come here and for open records, we can we can show it to you. You don't have to, you know, all you got to do is come in and ask me, I'll give you a copy. It's, ta it's, it's your money, uh, it's taxpayer money, whether it's local revenue effort or whether it's state or federal. Uh, here, guys, if y'all want to see this about the bus drivers, right here. It says bus driver. Bus driver 1826. Then up here it's even got the date. Bus driver hired after 7 1. What is that, 12? And Paul fixed it where you couldn't see it, don't 1289. I know the bus. I know the bus drivers have different, two different salary scales they've always showed me about. And we've I mean, about them. They've, they've had it for a while. And I, I, was, I was on this board, Gary, and that was never voted well, on. Well, I, was, I wasn't on the board then. I was. It's a click button. Oh, yeah. I've always seen it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's sad. It is sad. It you know, people are treated this it. way. And it's sad that this board sits here and allows it. Well, they got, they're getting paid to allow it. And we're not I don't care if everyone gets I've had it. I've not, I've, I know who gets let's pop, Well, let me say this. Let, let me say this. I wasn't on the board that approved $200,000 for the former superintendent's wife. I'm the one that pointed out. So people want to tell me, oh, yeah, you're going to do this. I'm not going to approve a dime that's not on here that I'm pretty confident it's going to somebody. I mean, if you know, there's money here. It's on a salary schedule. It's going to somebody. Yeah, it is, Gary. It's true. But who's? But they can't tell us who. Because well, they don't the, know but the who whole thing is. about it is, I'm not going to mention anybody's names. Okay. But you do know where it's going. They don't no, know I don't know where it's going. going but I'm saying this: if it if it's on here, it's going to somebody. Somebody's getting yeah, this you, money. Isn't that what we're trying to prevent? It going from the, to the wrong place. Well, let's ask their board attorney here. Presumably there's an employee who gets money. Money. But you had, didn't last year you had a state auditor? Yeah, we had a state auditor come in. He didn't, didn't find any. He didn't, he didn't find, find any irregularity. Well, it's not. When you got somebody that's got money, money you ain't going to find nothing. The state auditor. Yes. And I know he's backing this up. I just know what the auditor is. It's somebody with money. The state auditor last year uncovered a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, but part of it was brought out. Most of it was brought out. Exactly, like the court system. And I can name it if you'd like me to. I wish you would. 
Well, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise that. I mean, I just, you know, the whole thing about it is we're strapped. But then you guys need to check in on it, especially if you're an attorney. I provide legal services. I'm not an auditor, but, but in the audit, you had an auditor that comes in and does the audit every year, and you had a state audit. Now, if you're saying the state auditor swept it under the rug and he's a crook, that's fine. But I, it's part of you, everybody. And this is like part oh, of this, this thing. Martin County, no, it ain't. Part of this thing with the salary schedule here. If you want to take it one little salary, I and if you wanted to say, guy. okay, who's getting this money here? I mean, if the auditor would even, you know, for, the first thing you'd have to do is to prove that that money is not going to whom it's supposed to be going. Well, I, I'm assuming that since it's on here, it's going to somebody. We'll prove that and it's it going is. to it's somebody that, that gets that legitimate that payment for the services. I think, okay. I think it was said that they will find out. They'll find out. I so, mean, you know. But this thing's about tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah, I need a motion to approve. This thing's about tonight. You Are you willing to trust me? I, I do didn't think he was going to create district uh, director for district wide programs, Gary. He didn't do it. Okay, Bob. Because wow. we stopped it. You got to. The salary oh. schedule for the bus drivers. Are you going to look into that also for the the, the new two that was yeah the two that was created. That was brought up last year and right. it wasn't looked into. Right. It won't be now. It still won't. We've got a lot you of guarantee that. As it goes, as it goes. It's low pay. And they're not going to get a I'm going to tell you, you're going to have a big school with no children in it. Because people ain't going to put up with what's going on here. If they're smart, they homeschool not, all not, their kids. I'm not ready to just walk out. I've had it. You cannot fight politics. You can't. Can. Exactly. And I can't believe so many. And it's a shame I'm not, because people say I'm not even going to go. <coughs> I can't believe some of the people that would just put up with it. But if you got money in your pocket, so I don't put up with that. Do I don't put up with Okay. Any further discussion on classified sir? Just hold it over until they can get the line. Assistant here, assistant there. Do you have an assistant, Diana? You should have one of your own. Yeah, I'm assistant. Yeah, you have an 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 assistant. Yeah, you the, the two that's which. Amy, do you know who's getting the? The monitor. I can go upstairs. But then only take okay, go upstairs and look for that. That, that That'll fair fair real quick. I'm sorry. I asked for that today. Why couldn't you done it today? Can you? Oh, she's busy. Because you can't. You can't direct. She's our treasurer. Well, no, the board cannot board. direct her. Let me, well, let the me. board cannot direct well, her. When I go into a school, I go into a school as their guest. She I is no our board treasurer, well, Gary. Yes, she's a board Do treasurer. Do you not call her and ask her things on the phone? I know you do because you told me so. When I call Tammy, I, I call her and ask her. I do not ask her as her boss because I'm not her boss. She's not I the call board and treasurer. ask her to that because she has a supervisor there. I'm just a board member. That's all I am. I have no authority outside this meeting. Do you know what a board treasurer is? The board treasurer is hired Could by the board. That's right. I have no problem with that. I'm just <coughs> asking why I couldn't have got that information today. Well, because I know you've called and asked her for information, Gary. I know you have. There is a person in the position. But I don't have a right to call and ask her about a personnel. <coughs> I don't ask it about personnel. Okay, well, right now we are. We're, we're asking to see who's getting paid this money. We're playing mind games right now. Uh, no, we're not playing mind yes, games. Yes, we are. <laughs> not many of you guys. Uh, Tammy, can you find out who that person is? It's a beating around the bush, pretty much. A lawyer, you can act how you want, but that's what it is. That's what he wants. We don't need to get money. No, we don't need to get. Well, let's just make sure it's going to a person, not to be inside of. Oh, it's probably going to a person. No, that's my mind. Well, is this is this pay scale here? Oh, no, I can't believe you turned out the way you. Is this pay scale that you're proving, Gary? Is it yeah. with which pay scale from the bus drivers is it including the one before or both the one that's after? I mean, both of them because they were both hired under different at, at different times. You have one schedule that's set for drivers who were hired a long time ago, and then another schedule for for drivers who were hired after after a specific date. I wasn't on the board when that was. 
Yeah. Is it reflecting the minutes? No. <coughs> that that no. took place? No. No. I don't know. No. Here. Here. Salary schedule was approved last year at this time. It's approved. Gary, how yeah. much does those so that bookkeeper have and that other yeah. job pay? We want now. Can you tell salaries, me how the much those schedule were approved jobs last pay year in the board meeting? The bookkeeper. Well, she might. And the other. Originated is really. A year. But you got to look. Instruction. I want to explain to y'all something. Okay. That's what we're trying to find out who they are. <laughs> Here, here is the one that was originally sent to me. Looking starting out 9:34 now. Somehow it mysteriously okay. changed. What is the other one? The instruction or monitor? Starting out. What is it now, Gary? Starting out. Oh, starting out. Monitor 12:57 now. Well, what now though? That was starting out. That's more than we made. And it goes no, up. No, that's starting out. As Honey, if we went to the school, we'd ask who the bookkeeper is. Who is the other one? Who well, will have to tell us their name? I mean, my okay, God. they've been here a long what time. What are y'all hiding? What are they making now? Look here, guys. Look here. Look here. Look here. This was the this was the original. This was the original sent to us by email. Most drivers is in the on the Gary. What? You just told us what they started. Does yours show what they make now? You've got years of experience. The only way you can find out what somebody makes is know how many years they've been there and their starting salary. I can't tell you what. You can't tell how many years they've been there without telling their name. There's nobody. There's no names listed on here. Well, <laughs> they say they've been there 15 years. What would they make? If they they've been here 15. Well, no, you can't get in. I'm not there. saying they are. I'm just saying on that. Well, what if you just started and make 110,000 a year? Well, that's not. That's. Well, you know what it's I think about the big sob is well, you find out and just tell it still not get over it. Yeah. 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 Where they were. I just don't mind what we're going to do. Can we look at the other mind? Yes, you can. I think it goes off my mind. It's big art, but I don't want to do that. Is there a motion? Do I have a motion? Can we find out what we're going to do? One day. You know what? I have a first name. No, but they start at nine, don't nine something out. Here's the ones that they're going to do. These are the ones that they're going to do. That and that. I think there's a motion on the table for the approval. If the board doesn't want to approve them, say no. Then just say no. But the motion, or is there a motion on the table for the approval of the classified schedules? Let's table up and look at it. Oh, so on the on the schedule, we're, we're giving them the one percent increase, correct? Yes. So everybody. Everybody gets a raise. Everybody is on the salary schedule. And if there is, there's nowhere to go but up. If the board wants to look at this and to increase the salaries, they can do that at any time. What we need to do, I'm recommending the board, is to approve the salary schedule as a minimum at least. And then you can increase it if it's the bus drivers or if it's the instructional assistants, uh, whomever you want, you can increase it from whatever it is. And when you approve it, you're approving those positions. And if they do, don't buy a name when you pay those things. Yeah, but we need because when he's going somewhere else. We need to approve the raise. You're approving the raise. They need to approve the raise. We're approving the raise. No, but they don't approve it. But we're approving the classified salary. We're approving the classified salary plus the plus the raise. Plus the raise. And we can go back and revisit or I'll check on this. Yes, scout. You won't be going back. Yes, no. Nobody so never goes back. You're approving those positions. Is the issue really whether somebody employed by the school district actually fills those two positions? In yeah, that's the question. I mean, that's the only question. Yeah, that's the only question. So if you approve but the salary schedule. there is nobody that, there, but somebody's getting that pay anyway. Pay. Well, they could abolish the positions or find out yeah. in order to the what? sheriff of the state, please. I'm making money. Like they're, they're really going to do something. What our attorney is recommending. <laughs> I mean, that would be easy to find out if, if anybody yeah. in the district is getting paid for those jobs, right? I think they're hard. I think they're classified and need to know where they stand. She's sitting over here. Absolutely. 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 I'm a, I, yeah. 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 Motion to approve the classified yeah. schedule. Yeah. I'll second the motion. Roger, make a motion. I'll second the same thing. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries 4 to 1. That's good. The 
two stipend schedules. Uh, the first one being the athletic. Mm -hmm. Extra services. We have students have athletic work also in the end. We have students have the three thousand dollars. The board didn't ask me to do anything. If the board wants to do that now, they can. Here's my recommendation. <laughs> I think. Hey, listen, I'm not a liar. Yes, I don't, you are. Yes, you are. I don't do anything. Yes, you are. You are the takes a motion and action. I can't do anything without three members. <coughs> of the board. Sit there and say it the last time that he didn't want that. I said I didn't want that. So why is it back on him? If the board takes action and approves an item, then it will be done. But you put it back on here when we ask you not to. I'm sick of it, Mr. Meadows. I'm sick of it. Can we, can he's wanting you to quit on it. I know what that's exactly what he's wanting. Okay. Can I make a, yeah, go ahead, Rob. Is she doing something wrong, Mr. Meadows? I am telling on Other than tell the truth. Go ahead, Rob. Rob. He can't say. Okay, go ahead, here's, here's Mr. Meadows. And whether you agree with it, may not agree with it, So, but here's my recommendation as far as the coaching staff and so I think, which I brought up the last time, and I understand you have to delete as far as the baseball because of Title IX. We had more, I don't know, actually that we got away with it this past year. We had more coaches baseball than we did girls softball. And I don't know how Title IX works and how, and how tough it can be on you. But I think, and like I said, you may disagree, but I think we leave the coaching as is, same number, Except for baseball, uh, I understand Title IX regu regulations. I think we should use, and I don't think our coaches have ever asked for a raise. And I appreciate and commend them on what they do. I've been there, and I know what they, the hours they put in, and uh, they've never, personally, they've never asked me about getting them a raise. They've never said anything about a raise. But I think the same number, uh, we keep the same number because what we're doing is taking. We're deleting assistant positions. Then we're taking that money and we're giving it. Not that they're not entitled to a raise. I'd love to see all coaches get a raise. Uh, but I think most coaches would say, I know I would, if I was in the position, and you might want to ask the head coaches, uh, would you prefer a $500 raise or would you prefer keeping your good assistant coach? I know I would say, I want to keep my good, because good assistants are hard to find and it wouldn't be worth it to me. Like I said, they deserve what they, uh, you know, they deserve a raise. But $500 and, uh, you know, and, and then you add it, I think we should keep the number, the same number, except in that position, as you said, because of Title IX regulations, same pay scale as last year, same number of coaches, except I think you should pay whichever their elementary coaches, and I know some here we decided to keep our elementary coaches, which they get very low pay. Uh, and uh, I've checked, and you know, I'm sure Mr. Mills has checked also that affords health uh, care insurance. You don't have to pay. It's a stipend, or they don't do, you know, over 30 hours. I think we should keep it as is, except you pay your elementary volleyball coaches. You add them on because other people. Basketball, whatever, and uh, that's, that's my recommendation. That's my opinion. I don't know how the rest of the board members, but that's how I feel. About it. So, how do you feel about the district coordinator or athletic or athletic director? Well, I said you keep because he's getting this is going to be the college, which puts them and plus you've already got a high school athletic director. Then he deleted. Well, you know, that's something that we need to consider uh, later on, and and uh, I would <laughs> like to see a job description. I think that's something we need to look at. I'm not sure what the job description what, what it entails, but that's how I, you know, like I said, you can, you can disagree. That's fine, but I think oh, you leave it as it is, except on the... Our district know. is our county, folks. That's our, our county is our district. You've got a county athletic director and a district athletic why do we need one that? One gets $1,000, the other gets 3000 Why do we one need that? One gets 10 days and the other gets what? How many was it? But the, the lesser one was the one that got, was deleted. I think Roger had that abolished last year. Did he didn't? 
but I think they consolidated some positions, so you know, I understand. Oh, I brought up about the football, which uh, you're going to ask a question about so the football coach getting uh, taking a cut, uh, whereas everybody else got a raise. That's that's why I mentioned last time. So. Roger, I'll, uh, I'll make a motion for the extra service salary schedule. Uh, same as it was last year. Can, can we, uh, can we evolve, can we evolve the, the, you know, the positions like positions? on baseball that we, we call some title line, I understand that. Can we abolish the $3,000 position? I don't, I don't, I don't think that's the, uh, you can make a recommendation, uh, but I'm, the district I'm, athletic I'm board keep as is. is. Is that a motion? I'm going to make a motion as is. Okay. And with the addition of the volleyball, uh, volleyball coaches, do we have any other two coaches? positions at each Elementary. So there's volleyball that the elementary schools? Yeah. I never knew this. They haven't been getting paid. Yeah, there's volleyball. And when oh, yeah. they pass this, they're passing With the district the athletic coordinator for 3000 extra dollars, 30 extended days. Same when they let a county athletic coordinator be deleted for 1010 when the exact same thing. They deleted the lesser and kept the more. Well, it's somebody they knew. Position. There you go. That's all you can say. Probably one of the three. I think it's consolidated. I don't want you to look at it because it's a. They were consolidated. Okay, is that correct? One of the athletic. One of the kind. I would take the lesser guys with the less money guys. Go ahead. So the if I'm going to. Yeah. Mr. Harless has made a motion. I just want to clarify what that motion is. And that motion is to. Retain Keep a state, state number, stipend state schedule from 2013 14 the same and add the volleyball, the volleyball coach. two positions at each elementary school at a $250 stipend same. for volleyball. Mm -hmm. But we're not abolishing the other one? I'm just getting his motion right here. And, the, and then one assistant baseball coach to make it equitable to the softball. Uh, yeah, I really don't want to see that, but do you want to add a softball coach to the softball team? I, 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 let me rephrase that. If if this is where we want to start, we can leave it with the two assistant baseball coaches, and I can come back and if, you, if the board so desires to add an assistant to the uh, softball, we can do that. Assistant should be a parent, maybe volunteering. Yeah. So the only change to the stipend schedule from 2013-14 would be the addition of two volleyball coaches at each elementary school. But you want to leave that district one over in there for all that extra time? We're leaving the other room. No, no, he deleted it. But we're saying, I'm saying go back because there's a lot of here that's deleted. I'm saying keep the same number, so we're keeping all. 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 we that's what it's going to do. If they're going to do that, then that means they're taking the um, af um, the one thousand um, dollar county athletic coordinator. They're taking the thousand dollars back away from the coach and putting it back to that, which is going to mess with somebody's pay. Mm -hmm. Keeping it as is, which yeah. not keeping it as it is, except we're adding. Volleyball, co volleyball coaches. As is, they've been working, so we need to try something. You still have that. a district coordinator here, an uh, athletic coordinator that's making more than the other coaches. I'll make a motion that we keep it as is, except we add to the volleyball the same stipend as our girls, boys, basketball coaches. They'll be treated, they're treated the same. Okay. Two motion. Need a second. I'll take it. Motion second. I'll take it. Motion carries four to one. This is where it gets good, guys. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now, the administrative schedule, stipend schedule. I emailed y'all about these right here, this last page, every bit of that. It never existed before. If I may. Who is the finance officer? Legally? 
I assumed the finance officer okay. when I got to this district because Mike Kessinger had retired in December of 2012. He was the finance officer. Mm -hmm. It is required by law for, for every school district to have a finance officer. So that defaulted to the current superintendent, or to rather to my predecessor, the superintendent at the time. And then when I came in on July 1st of 2013, Why, what pay did they get for that? there was no extra pay for that. But yeah, Mr. Meadows wants to give himself 55 extended That days. is not true. Wow. Black and white. That don't yeah. surprise me. Black and white. Black and white. Okay. All right. I'll connect. Um, what's the. Uh, what? 3,000 more. That whole last page never existed. That's all district positions that was not here. It was, it was not here. Before. So are you both superintendent and are you the the superintendent and secretary? You both? Uh, what? The superintendent, secretary, and. Really? Yeah. Are you? We just asked. I don't know. Is the board asking me that? Just question. No. Well, no. Are we allowed we to are. ask a question? We're not no, asking a question. You're not unless the chair allows it. I'll, uh, I'll make a motion. I'm not allowed to speak. Craig, those are all, those didn't exist. Do you want me to show you the proof? Look here. Look here. Here is 2012. Those do not exist. Here is 2012. Those do not exist. Here is 2011, 2012. Those extended days do not exist. 55 counted as 15 positions with 55 extended days. 15 positions. He is going to give district office a raise while he gives you all pink slips. Oh, well, let think about this, guys. <laughs> get rid of him. Send him where he comes from. My God, you need to get rid of him. This is all. They don't exist on that one. And they don't exist on this one. And that's these are the three years before. People need to take their kids in homeschool. Well, if, if that was true, you certainly do. I, I'm you going do. to. Okay. We have a motion on the table. Okay, this one. Yeah. The only thing that's different is where it says where a grant writer is. That's correct. Which no, you right none of these positions exist. Do, the, these right here. You need to respond. I have a motion on the table. Craig, we're trying to figure this out if you don't mind. Oh, he's in a hurry, honey. Here. Those are the ones that are trying to pass. Like you will not find those on there. You can go back to KSBA. You will not find them. If we pass it, then so will you create it? That's exactly what's going to happen. And if you pass that, I will get up and I'll walk back with you. You'll get what you want. And then I feel sorry for our kids. Don't give them what they want. I do. I feel. God help them. Hey, what are we? Honey, God can help them. What are we creating? Donetta, that if we pass this thing, what are we going to be creating? What are we going to be creating? What, what potential? Look. 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 All of these things here, these speech language pass all of just all these. The 55 days is merely a reflection of those days beyond the 185 that import the 240-day contract that has always existed for those positions. You got to realize you got employees in my that you got to be stagnant. It's 55 days when we all know better. Well, you'll stay today. Would you please? Those 55 days are beyond the 185 day. No, no, no. Can I, no, Mr. Right. Chairman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 185 plus the 55 is a 240 40 day, day contract that has always been given to those employees no. in those positions. One of the issues in the district that the auditor did point out, and that is well known, is that our classified contracts do not reflect days compensation by hour and so responding to the board's desire to have more transparency about the days and the money that are given to employees and in particular the central office 
those are the positions at central office. Notice that it did not include uh, of the mechanics. But it included the finance officer that never got paid for it before. The finance officers, so, when, for instance, when Mr. Mike Kessinger was the finance officer, that 55 days was part of his 240 day contract. Part of his contract. What about now? It, well, it's 55 days. Well, who took I'm telling you, look at those papers. They do not exist. They, they it's in black and white. They the days have always existed. The transparency, and I don't the day that I've, I've revealed that, but the board desired to have the transparency of the extended days. And that's what you see. That's nothing that's been created. Those positions have always that's not existed. Side. That's what they've always that's not yes, side. yes, sir. Then why were they not on the on the on the previous three years? Why? Because as he pointed out, the no, Gary, you never know been. what extended days are. Yeah, but according extra days for the, what the, that is. But the auditor pointed out that we never put that in there, right? That it was that, it's that never been on a contract. One of the issues that we have in the contracts and classified is that and I've run it by our legal as well and it is highly encouraged that we place the hourly compensation on every con the annual contract. And again if we just keep it in, in line here, what we do is the budget. You're a liar. You're a liar. And then based on the tentative budget we can You're then lying. determine the you know he support. lies. You know he lies. Don't <laughs> let him have what he wants. Our kids will never have nothing. Well, they need to right here is the one you got to blame for. Well, I can't believe Coach Harless turned out the way he did. I was never going to use it. Okay, there's a we motion. motion on the table. Go ahead and vote. Yes, yes, I have yes. one question. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Yes. I have one question. They ain't going to pay no attention. We're not the acknowledgeable. He said. Your motion, you want Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, Dixie. I have a question. Any opposed? The motion's on the table. Okay, you're what? It's too late. You've done a motion and voted. They already had it all planned. Yeah, we had. Yeah, we met beforehand. You always do. I know that. I have never met. Okay. Everybody that has the 220 to start voting this year. Okay, hang on a second. Watch. Reports. Reports. Reports, okay. They on the engineers. Reports, Administrative staff. Reports. No. Martin County Education Association reports. Uh, school reports. Uh, I know she's not prepared for this, but Martha's done some incredible work over the last weekend. I, I shouldn't say just her, not, not last week, but several months. And I don't know if she's about Martha, but um, she really is driving the uh, College of Career Readiness. Uh, Martha just shared with us on behalf of uh, Robbie Fletcher and the high school and everyone where we stand on those. We have reached an all-time high. We, with with all the adversity that we've experienced this year, you know, we were not anticipating that we would even surpass last year. But we are now at 74.5 percent college and career readiness. And I have made a partnership with adult education. And actually, this morning, four of our graduates. At 8 o'clock, when they were within a point or two of becoming career ready, and adult ed is working with them, remediating them uh, in work keys, and we possibly could see four more career ready within the next week or so. Also, we have seniors that uh, barely missed industry certifications by a few points. They're coming back this week to work with Ms. Hunt and Ms. Sloan, so we're looking at maybe two or three more there. So possibly we we are looking seventy eight percent perhaps, which is phenomenal. Everybody here knows the challenges that our students and our faculty and staff, uh, the d duress uh, that we have all been under. Certainly our teachers, but especially our students, and in the high school, college career readiness. It's just a phenomenal job, and the data that's kept daily. Martha, between you and the high school is just incredible, and uh, it, the, that hard work is paying off for our students. I just appreciate all the work they've done. Thank you, Martha. Next item on the agenda is approval to enter into closed session. Pursuant to KRS 61.810 BC.
litigation, surplus property, and acquisition. <coughs> Any motion to go into a closed session? I'll make a motion to go into a closed session. Motion and second. I'll make a motion to say aye. Aye. I want to go. Carl, along the